Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at stochastic models and really this question highlights the difference between deterministic models and stochastic models. That's really the question. So in a nutshell, a stochastic model is one that recognizes the random nature of the input components, okay? Whereas a model that does not uh, contain any random component, components is deterministic in nature. Okay, so let's just go dive deeper into that. So first off, let's look at deterministic models. In a deterministic model, the output is determined once the set of fixed inputs and the relationship between them has been defined. Okay. By contrast, in a stochastic model, the output is random in nature. The output is only a snapshot or an estimate of the characteristics of the model for a given set of inputs. Okay. And you could argue that a deterministic model is really just a special simplified case of a stochastic model. A deterministic model will give one set of results of the relevant calculations for a single scenario, uh, whereas a stochastic model will be run many, many times with the same inputs and give a distribution of the relevant results for a distribution of scenarios. Uh, the results for a deterministic model can be contained by, often obtained by direct calculation. So, and then uh, just a couple of remarks on stochastic models. The results of stochastic models often require Monte Carlo simulation. Okay, so, uh, although some stochastic models have, may, can have analytical solutions. Okay, that's actually sort of the key thing here, essentially. This is what we're building up to actually, stochastic stimulations and running small experiments uh, an infinite amount well not an infinite amount of times a large amount of times great many number of times and then just seeing the distribution of results whereas the deterministic one is essentially a pen and paper calculation correlations can be important in, st in stochastic models as they indicate the behavior of one variable uh, uh, and how it's associated with that of another variable or if it's associated Sorry, as they indicate when the behavior of one variable is associated with that of another. Stochastic models are more complex and more difficult to interpret than deterministic models and so require more expertise, expense and computational power. So that's it really. It's essentially just those sort of couple of quick remarks. Um, but a sort of a key one there is to sort of highlight is the random nature of the input components and the distribution of um, the distribution of the relevant results. Those are the two key features of a stochastic model and those are the ones I would highlight when you're comparing something to a deterministic model. Okay, we'll leave it there.